What is up, car addicts? In this video, we're we'll talking about this week's Double Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for March 11th through March 17th, 2021. The current casino podium vehicle is the HVY Night Shark. This vehicle's overall design is primarily based on the Darts Combat. It released about four years ago with a gun running update and normally costs about $1.2 million. This vehicle is in the off roads class but unfortunately cannot be used in races due to its front mounted guns even though there are other vehicles in GTA that can be used in races with front mounted guns but that's another rant for another time. For free mode it's still a great overall vehicle with armor and pushing power similar to the Insurgent plus it's a lot faster than the Insurgent and on top of that it doesn't have a unique map icon so it pretty much tricks players into thinking that you're driving a normal vehicle Plus it also has a towing hitch, making it very useful in certain situations. Definitely one of my top 10 armored vehicles. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Night Shark and are not happy about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for about 875,000, depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So is the Night Shark worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? I'm gonna say 100% yes. For those of you who don't own one, you're missing out on a great armored vehicle that I normally would highly recommend. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 40% off the facilities as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. The facility is needed to host the Doomsday Heist and required in order to purchase some select vehicles like the Kanjali and the Jetpack. So if you don't own a facility, I highly suggest buying one this week. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the Emirates. So this car is in the supercar class and is one of the fastest ones in the class up there with the Krieger around most tracks. This is an insanely good price on this car. For those of you who don't own an Emirates or a Krieger, I highly, highly suggest buying the Emirates this week. On top of the fact that this is one of the fastest cars in the class around most tracks, it also has good customization and top speed as well all for under two million dollars this week with the discount which is a very very good deal moving on to the warstock website we have 40 percent off the terabyte as well as the upgrades and renovations for it as well which is awesome the terabyte is a pretty awesome vehicle to own even though i'm sure most of you who have a presser mark twos already own it since it's required in order to customize your presser mark ii also keep in mind that you need to own a nightclub in order to purchase a terabyte Next up, we have 25% off the Squatty. So this vehicle released recently and is a ton of fun to off-road with and customize to your liking. And of course, the fact that it's based on a Humvee, which makes it even cooler. Plus it can go through pretty deep water because it's snorkel actually works. I don't think I'll ever sell mine. Moving along, we have 40% off the Chernobog. Personally, I don't find the Chernobog all that useful but I know there's definitely a large community out there that does find it very useful, but for me personally, not really. One of the Chernobog's biggest downfalls in my opinion is the fact that it has no armor while also being a very large vehicle making it a large target. Somebody can pretty much snipe you a couple times with an explosive sniper from far away and you're pretty much done. But anyways, next up we have 40% off the Rhino tank. So this is the OG tank that was nerfed back in the day. Currently its armor isn't very good. You're better off buying a Kanjali, but at this price, it's a pretty decent deal. Moving on to the latest travels website, we have 40% off the Miljet. So this airplane flies very similarly to the Luxor that we're all very familiar with flying. Although its main feature is that it can seat up to 16 players, whereas a Luxor can only seat up to 10 players. But even at this price, I still feel it's a bit too expensive, especially since it's a pretty normal Pegasus aircraft. And that's it for vehicle discounts, only one normal car discount, and then three other pretty much military vehicle discounts. I think if we would have gotten a couple discounts from a Summer San Andreas website, it would have made it a little bit better. But anyways, in terms of weapon discounts, we have 40% off all laser weapons, which is pretty cool. In terms of free items, you can get this Dinka H t-shirt for free just for logging in this week, which is pretty cool. But keep in mind that you need to already own the normal Dinka t-shirt in order to be able to unlock this one. 
In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on transform races this week, which is interesting. For those of you who enjoy transform races, you can make a decent amount of money this week while also having some fun. Next up, we have double money NRP on the hunting pack remix adversary mode, which is awesome. This one's one of my personal favorite adversary modes. Moving along, we have double money NRP on contact missions from Martin and Lamar, which is pretty cool. For those of you who are newer to GT Online and don't own a business, this is a great way to earn some money. And lastly, we have double money NRP on business battles, which is quite random, but yeah, pretty decent this week, I guess. But no business double money, which is quite unfortunate. And we still haven't gotten the Panther statue to steal from the Kaopadiko Islands, which is getting pretty annoying for a lot of players. It seems Rockstar has just kind of forgot about it. But anyways, moving on to the Prime Gaming Discounts for Prime Gaming Members only. I will leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming Member if you aren't one already. So we have the same ones as last week, which is 30% off the Vatir that released recently. This truck is a Pegasus vehicle and has no customization, therefore I don't really recommend it even at this price. Next up, we have 80% off the Barrage. Personally, I find the Barrage pretty useless. The weapons and customization is pretty cool, but it's very slow and it's terrible off-road. It just drives <laughs> really bad over the bumps. Personally, I prefer the Insurgent Pickup Custom if you're looking for an off-roader with a top-mounted gun. Next up, we have 80% off the Brigade. Keep in mind that this is a Pegasus vehicle with no customization, and it's a giant vehicle that has no armor at all, so it's a very easy target for players to kill you. And lastly, for Prime Gaming, you will continue to get the Sonar Station upgrade for the Kasaka Submarine for free. This upgrade normally costs 1.2 million, and getting it for free is pretty awesome. Also don't forget guys, just for logging this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $200,000, which is pretty cool. Again guys, if you don't see a discount on the Vatir, Barrage, or the Brigade, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have of course the RC Bandito Time Trial Construction Site 1. This week's normal time trial is Galileo Park. I highly recommend either the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, Batty 801, or an open wheel car for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the Sports Classics Race 8 figure bonus. I highly recommend either the Cheetah Classic, Turismo Classic, Retinue Mark II, or the Rapid GT Classic for this race. Every Friday, I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is pretty decent, but definitely not the best. I think if Rockstar would have maybe given us a few more vehicle discounts and put the Panther statue on the Kaiopedico Island, this would have been a great event week. Obviously, they can't give us business double money every single week, but I feel like more vehicle discounts or the Panther statue would have kind of balanced it out better. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.